Hello everyone, welcome back, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic, and today we're back with another Microsoft Flight Simulator video, and today is the release day of the Discus 2C. By now, it has either already released, or it should release very soon. Uh, Got Friends announced it's coming out today, so here we have it. And we also have a new airport for this. The IKO is GTFD. Quite nice, and I I really really like the location, mountains. It's just beautiful. It it really is. And here we have the Discus 2C FES version, which is the one with a electric motor, right on the nose. And I will have a link for this glider in my description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and it also lets me know you guys enjoy the content. Absolutely beautiful. Just taking a quick look at the airport. Very, very simple. But I really love the location. There's even a helicopter. And going back to the inside. We can close the canopy. So this is new, super nice. So no water in the ballast tanks, yep. There is a built-in winch and the cable is visible now. You can get yourself towed either by an AI if you're using kinetic assistant or if you have a friend flying with you, you can connect to a, an aircraft in front of you, super nice. I think I clicked on the microphone. There we go. This is the winch control. We can control how much water we have. Not this one. This one? Yeah, this one. Let's take just a little bit of water. Hide the status. Let's fix this, there we go. Nav lights coming on. Engine. Okay, looking good. Alarm is on. Okay. So, what I'm gonna be doing today is, I'm gonna be showing the rope, the cable we have now. And if you look at the cable, it's pointing the wrong way. I think. Pretty sure it's pointing the wrong way. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, let's see if it's going to fix it up once we start. It should. Yeah. And now we have the cable right in front of us. Uh, I'm kind of going to fly like this so you can see the cable. We have the cable right here. Instead of gaining altitude, uh, all I'm going to care about is showing the cable. Landing gear up. Okay, I'm going to turn the engine. Let's see if we can locate the truck. There we go. Uh, the truck just despawned. It was right there. So when you winch yourself, it's basically going to spawn a winch truck. And it's a quite nice model, actually. Okay. 
So real quick, I'm just gonna land again and I'm gonna spawn the winch closer. Okay, second try. Uh, yeah, let's spawn this closer. And we should be able to see the, the truck a little bit better. Yeah, I think I can see it, yeah. That's the model of the new truck. It's kind of glitching due to the mountain, but really nice. Okay. We should probably watch out. <laughs> Keep an eye where we're going. But yeah. I was just trying to basically see the, the, the truck, show the truck. I'm not too worried about altitude since we have the engine. We should be good. And I am using one of the profiles included with the glider. So, I believe this is the ridge profile. Yeah, Saurian Ridge. The inside is really nice, actually. They paid a lot of attention to, to detail, as they usually do. Uh, God Friends is very, very solid. Right now we have kilometers per hour, we can switch this with this one, so knots. It's, it's very easy, very straightforward. Hiding the nav. You can hide the GoPro as well, or you can use it for uh, a little bit different view. As you can see, the, Go the GoPro does give you a pretty different view. It's a nice view, actually. Especially for screenshots and recording. I'm not sure if I have enough ought to clear that. Testing this, I have to say, in some areas you get amazing lift. And being here in the mountains, it's quite easy keeping yourself um, gliding. And beautiful as well. I think the biggest plus on flying here is the view, the scenery. 
It's absolutely breathtaking. Now we can release the water in the ballast tanks. The water is animated. I would say this is sufficiently agile as a glider. You can have a lot of fun. Uh, at least I like to have some fun with the glider, you know. We are still getting rid of all of the water. It does follow us around. We were shaking a little bit. <laughs> In all likelihood, I probably pushed it a little bit too far. I think we should be empty by now. Yes, we are. Uh, this glider does include a manual. It goes a little bit over the glider itself. Nope, there we go. Let's see if we can take a good look at the propeller. As you can see, it's kind of sitting tight into the airframe, hugging the airframe, but as you give it some throttle, it kind of opens up. And then, throttle on idle, you stow the propeller blades. This is really, really nice. And you can overheat the engine, the, the little electric engine. I believe it was on my first uh, Discus 2C FES preview video that I actually showed the overheat warning. It takes a little bit of a little bit of time on full throttle, but. The temperatures, they are modeled, and you can overheat it. So as you can see, it's going up. This is the battery, it's going down. Battery temperature, yeah. You can overheat this. I'm gonna keep this on just for a little bit. Uh, 45, 46, it's just gonna keep going up. And then, all the way to idle, and it's gonna start going down. 46, 45, right below us we have the airport. Looks like we have a little bit of lift, which I'm not too worried about, like, we have the engine, we're, we're gonna be fine. Can you imagine living around this area? It's absolutely beautiful. I do wonder though, how c 
cold is it during the, the winter? The roads are a little bit. How do I say this? There are a lot of turns going up the mountain. I think I can kind of give an idea on how the how the glider handles by flying like this. So this is how fast the glider rolls all the way to the right. The pitch is a little bit more responsive. We can turn on the AC, let's imagine it's very very hot. Getting some AC. The wind does feel a little bit bumpy sometimes, which I totally get. It's a glider, it's a very very small aircraft, very light. I do feel like the wind should kick us around a little bit. Okay, not too bad. Okay, so we do have wing flex. At least I can notice some wing flex. I'm not sure how well this is translating into YouTube, but I can see some wing flex. Overall, I'm very, very happy with the model. The speed brakes, they are modeled as well. And they really, really break you. <laughs> so yeah, only use them when you when you're sure you want to lose speed. It's completely fine here if we lose some speed. We always have the engine. And the scenery is quite clean if we have to land off airport, but that's not really gonna happen. We are pretty safe. As you can see, we have regained sufficient altitude. Again, um, 
I'm quite happy with the flight model. I really, really like this glider. The new winch system is very, very welcome. The tow truck, not really tow truck, it's like a winch truck. It's a really nice addition. The weather presets, they help a lot. Since by using them, you're not really required to have anything else running. some side slipping so we can lose some altitude without gaining too much speed doing a, another low pass I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this glider, I know I did. And if you do get it, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. There's also a freeware version which does not have the engine. Um, it's a really, really, mo really, really good model. And this is the Discus 2C FES model. It just came out. I will have a link in my description down below if you want to check this out for yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And it also lets me know you guys enjoy the content. And wherever you are, I hope you stay safe, fly safe. Bye bye.